I've had a number of requests to make a video on how to assemble a Workmate 425, so I basically disassembled my Workmate and uh, will take you through the process. So you notice here I have three panels, the front panel, center panel, and the back panel. And then over here you're going to see the blocks along with the bolts that go along with it. And then you're going to see here a little thumb, little thumb wrench, and I'll explain that a little bit more in a second. So notice on these first two, it's a little bit different from these guys in the back. And the reason is this front, this front panel is used for vice. This is your vice, and I'll show you how that goes together in a second. So the first thing is make sure you have all these parts that you see here. You can pause the video and make sure you have it. In addition, you're going to need this assembly right here. So first you're going to need two of these crank hand cranks. You're going to need pins that hold it in and then these little orange handles that stick out. So you need one for each side. So that means six additional pieces. I, I tried to take these out from mine but um, they just were too difficult and I didn't want to break it. In addition to that, if you can see that little foot there, you should have four of those guys. Four of them all the way around. Make sure they're on there because when mine arrived it, they were gone. And then you've got four of these feet for the legs of when they're extended. So make sure you have all the parts to get started. And then I'll take you through the uh, production, pro the installation process. The first thing you want to do is you want to take each of the legs and extend them out like so until they pop into place. So you need to do that with all four and then stand it up. Now I've extended all four legs, but I've stood it up on edge so that you can see this. If you can see this little lever right here, there's one on each side. So when you set it back down, you're going to take your right hand and put it on this, your fingers, and you're going to pull up just like this on both sides. And then you're going to extend it up so the frame is fully extended. So now I've got it fully extended and everything's locked, in, locked into place. You might have found that it was a little bit stiff when you opened it up. So while you're pulling up, all you have to do is put your foot on this footrest and pull it up. And later on I'm going to show you how to lubricate it so that's a little bit easier to do. Down in here you're going to see these little guys and you need to get them turned like this. Because that one block on the first one, the first panel is going to fit right over this and that first bolt is going to go right in that hole right there. Same thing on the other side. So make sure you've got them both set up so you can use them. Okay. So everything's going to go right in that little hole right there that you see. Okay. Just like that, just like that right there. So I set this first panel up on edge so that you can see how it goes together. So that's the first panel. And you can see how I put the bolt through there. And then you can see how this little protrusion has come back in here. So let me come over to this side and show it to you this way. So this is panel number one. And I think you can see right there, you can see that little guy passing through into the wood. This is going to pass down into this hole that I was talking about before. I don't know if the light's good enough for you to see that. Right there. So what you're going to do is take the, the first panel and you're going to get one started and get it kind of uh, in there and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to pause this and come back and do that. So what I've done is I've passed that bolt through the uh, panel, through the block that you see there, and then down into that little traveler that's on the worm gear. And if you can see, that little piece goes up into the board to keep it stable. So I've just got it started. So what I'm going to do next is tilt it up and do the other side. So now I have both of them on. And I hope you can see this. It's not wanting to focus really well. So this piece is going up into the board. And then there's the bolt passing down through and into this little carriage right here that is connected to this guy right here. And that's what's going to allow this piece, this panel, this first panel, 
to travel back and forth, okay? I want to talk about tightening at this point because you're looking at a bolt, a steel bolt that's going into plastic. And the last thing you want to do is strip that out. So make sure you don't tighten it down. If you're going to use a socket uh, wrench to get it down in there, when you get down to where it starts to feel tight, use this little thumb wrench that came with your system, that came in your package, and only get it finger tight. Because two things will happen. Number one, you'll strip the plastic. Number two, on this particular panel, you will bind it so tight it will be difficult for it to travel back and forth. The next thing we want to think about is this little guy right here. So I think if that will come into focus, you can see the pin that's through the center. So you've got to line, align this guy up with the shaft that's coming out and line it up with the hole and put that little pin through there. And make sure when you tap this in, you're very gentle. Don't, don't over hammer it. Don't use a big hammer because you'll actually bend that little pin. Also, this little guy just snaps into place. So just pop uh, him on that side, and then of course you've got the other side to do that as well. Next you want to take this second panel. You want to put a bolt through there. Well, that's not giving us good focus, is it? Take the bolt, pass it through into this block, and then if you see here, this piece is going to go right in that hole right there. This is the part this is the part that sits down into the slots in the bench. So you need to do this on both sides of this piece. And then when you get done with that, you need to do the same thing on the third panel. This is just the second panel. So you see the screw coming down into here? That's the way it should be. And then this fits up into that hole right there. So let's take this over and look at it on the other side again. That's where that bolt goes through. And you can see, boy, that's not getting as good focus. You can see where that little piece comes through there. So do that on this panel and then the third panel as well. And remember, don't make them more than finger tight with your thumb wrench. So now what you should have are both panels hooked up with the blocks. So this is panel number two. I don't know if you can see underneath there really well. Let me tilt this one up for you. This one's set up the same way, and I've done it on both sides, so you have that on both sides. So the next step is this. You see this last slot right here? You want to take this panel, your third panel, and you want to place that protrusion that you have here down in this slot, and then gently push it all the way back. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the second panel. And I'll put those in place for you and see if I can tilt it up and uh, show you how it goes into place. All right, I think I've got a good angle on this. So you can see in that slot that this guy is racked all the way to the back on the third panel. And then you're going to see this panel right here isn't all the way forward. There's not enough room. What that does do is give you additional working surface. If you want to keep this middle panel from sliding around, what you need to do is go ahead and crank it tight. So if there's a small gap that you have something small you need to use in your vise, then keep that third panel in. If you need something bigger, then what I recommend is you take the center panel out and move your third panel into this slot right here. And uh, so you can see how that goes. Also, I want to talk about lubrication here for a second because my, my bench was very, very stiff, very difficult to uh, expand when I first got it. And I'm not going to go into great detail, but if you see all these little joints right here, I'm going to come down here and look at these. I put a drop of oil on each of those with the bench laying on its side and let it sit for a few minutes and wiped it clean. I flipped it over and did the same thing on the other side. And what that did for me is, then, then after I did that, I then open, close, open, close, open, close four or five times. And from that point on, those members were a lot easier to expand and uh, collapse on the bench. There's two other videos I'd recommend that you take a look at. One is getting the most out of your Workmate workbench. 
uh, parts one and two. And then there's another one on putting 425 panels onto a 400. And there I go into a lot more detail in how these panels can be set up and used differently uh, on your frame because the 400 frame is uh, just about the same. So I hope you find this helpful. If you did, make sure you hit like, uh, press like on the bottom, and uh, good luck with your projects.